What's up guys, Squints here. So this is the seventh tutorial in this series, I believe. And I apologize for No Tip Tuesday, but um, I'm bringing you this instead. So also, um, I'm confirming that we're gonna have a 9K competition, the next video upload, I hope. I'm just trying to sort out a logo, so if you can do um, some nice YouTube logos, um, just PM me, I need one really urgently for this competition, because um, I haven't actually had a proper logo in about a year, so that would really help. So um, today I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do this kind of lighting effect. I saw it on kind of like a photo manipulation tutorial that I watched the other day. And I incorporated it into a background that I've previously done and I thought it looked really nice. And um, it's something new, I've not really seen this before. So you just want to open up your partner template and just drag in your finished background. <clears throat> into the template like so as you can see and you just want to put this under the main um, like your templates main uh, module so as you can see like that so it's under this so um, when we edit this you're not going to see the edits to the main module you will see what I mean after so um, now you've done this you just want to go to the lasso tool and this is here, you can just press L and it goes straight to it. And we're just going to roughly draw around the main image that you want to stay light. So um, whatever you highlight will um, be really bright and the, out, like, the outer layers of that will be darker and darker and darker. You see what I mean in a minute. So I'm just going to get a lasso tool and you don't want to do this perfect. You literally just want to drag, we'll kind of drag it like, so you know something like that that will do and you just want to go to select modify feather make sure it's on 50 and hit ok and um, I can't really explain what that does but you it will kind of gradually fade out instead of a hard line and you just want to go to select inverse or you can use the shortcut, I'm not really sure what that shortcut is. And um, now we're on that, we just want to go down to this little circle down here. And you want to click and hold and go to levels. And now this little box will come up. And on the far left kind of little arrow, you just want to drag, oh sorry, the um, top one. You just want to, the one under this kind of weird scaly image thing and you just want to drag this along and as you can see it gets really dark if you go all the way and it gets light that way so you just want to you don't want it really dramatic about that will do and just exit it like so and um, so as you can see if we minimize that it kind of makes it darker and darker um, this isn't the best example for the background because this background already has color correction on and it's already um, the contrast is really high on this background so it doesn't look the best but um, you see what I mean if you use um, another background so now we're just going to add some curves I'm going to go to curves and we're just going to create a little S shape so you bring it up and when you bring it up it um, lightens the background and darkens the black bits and you just want to drag this side down so it kind of adds contrast but um, not you don't want it too much it really depends on the background and what color correction you have previously put on it this is kind of like a bad example like I said but um, that looks nice and if you like this is this can add some really nice things if you do enough curves and I'm gonna to go to the blue one and kind of add a little S shape and as you can see if I take that off and on it adds kind of like a really nice depth effect and um, brings out some different colors in the background and um, one last thing I just want to show you is if you go down here gradient map make sure it's this black and white one it's like the third long hit OK and we're just going to put this down a bit like so and you want to come to the paintbrush make sure it's on black make sure it's on about the right size and you literally just want to click and hold and just kind of work your way around the logo dot around and if we put this on full you'll see it um, only does the gradient map to the bits that I haven't clicked and um, it can add a nice effect to the outside so that's about it. 
it doesn't look great um, because of the background. But um, what effects this has done is the levels, it's kind of brought it in. So the main focus is the middle of this background and it fades out to black. And the curves just adds more depth to it, kind of more contrast. Uh, it doesn't help that this color correction is really contrasting um, on the actual background. And the curves can bring out the different colors. If you did want to um, actually use this effect, um, if you do the same kind of shape on all of these, it can look good as well. But um, like I said, it really depends on the background, what you are using. And yeah, that's about it. The gradient map also makes everything black from the outside and the middle isn't. Pardon me. Um, See, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Um, like I said, use a different background and you'll see the really nice effects that this does and I hope you enjoyed it guys so as you can see there it looks much better when you um, save for web so um, yeah 9k contest soon guys this has been Squints have a nice day